Intel's Xeon 5500 is, uh, you know, the latest generation of quad-core processors, uh, taking advantage of uh, the highest floating point performance uh, for Intel Xeon processors to date, and DDR3 memory and PCI Express I/O on a platform level basis. So, bandwidth within the platform has been massively increased and has never been at a higher level. The need for inter-node communication within a cluster has never been uh, at a greater demand now. When you're thinking about um, Ethernet, you're talking about millisecond latency, and when you're thinking about InfiniBand, then you've got uh, uh, microsecond and nanosecond latency. So the, the time that it takes for uh, a message to pass from one, one node to the next is, uh, is remarkably decreased, and the amount of bandwidth for large message passing is, is markedly increased because of your 10, 20, and 40 gigabit per second uh, uh, transfer rates. It's Voltaire's director level switch. It allows for an, uh, extremely large clusters to have a, uh, an incredibly low uh, uh, internode latency uh, with one another and allowing for the, the scale of InfiniBand switches to uh, dramatically increase in size and the management of the InfiniBand fabric to be uh, uh, more sophisticated and, and better for the end user than ever before. So combining uh, Voltaire's InfiniBand switches, Unified Fabric Manager, and Intel's Cluster Ready Certification and Intel Cluster Checker allows end users to m maximize the, uh, uh, the availability and operability of their clusters. If you look at the Grid Director 4700, it shows the range of the Intel Cluster Ready program. So you can get from a workgroup level InfiniBand switch servicing as few as eight ports to as many as 324 ports of QDR InfiniBand allowing you to build one of the most powerful clusters in the world and saying, yes, it's Intel Cluster Ready certified.